Welcome to Poppy Press Coffee Company in Hazleton, a cafe where you can get gourmet coffee, breakfast, and lunch exactly the way you like it. Well, I'm happy to be here with the owner of the Poppy Press Coffee Company. It's Tamara, and you have such a beautiful place here. This is oh, Darling. Thank you. And of course, as, as Darling as it looks, the food is just as fabulous. <laughs> That's what I hear. You're going to prepare something for us today, something very signature, very popular, very secretive. Yes. <laughs> what There's are we doing? Secrets. So today I'm going to show you how to make my famous mac and cheese. Ooh, nice. And nice. there's a couple little secrets that I'm willing to give out. Okay, so first you're going to start with your favorite cheese. All right. And this isn't baked. You just, you can really? microwave this, yeah. Nice. Now, I do bake it, but at, right. the, at the cafe, it's easier to just make it as you go so it's fresher. Right. You know, raising my kids, this is just what I learned how to do fast. And when who I doesn't it. love mac and cheese? <laughs> I mean, everyone loves mac, and it's such a comfort food. It's such right? a comfort food. And here, I sell the toppings, oh. so you could put caramelized. Oh. Then you could put all kinds of stuff on it. You're so good. You take about two pounds of your favorite mm -hmm. cheese. Mm -hmm. You're going to take... Heavy cream. All right. You're going to put some salt and pepper, about a tablespoon. The cream cheese is the secret. Nice. And what is it, like a one container of cream cheese? Yeah, it, yeah it's like a block of cream, cream cheese. cheese. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is you're going to kind of, you know, mix it, Combine chop it. it up in little chunks. All and right. And then you're going to microwave it okay. for like about a minute and a half a time because you want to keep stirring it. Gotcha. Otherwise, it'll start to oh, burn. Okay, so do yeah. the little stir. Do yeah. the little stir. So you're going to stir it up. Just okay. chunk it up. Get it mashed up. You can use block cheese, whatever your favorite cheese is. You can mix the cheeses. I've already taken smoked cheese oh, wow. and stuck a little hint to that in. As long as it's edible, you're right. good. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to microwave it. All right. You're gonna take a pound of pasta, mm -hmm. your favorite pasta. Yep. I like these cappy noodles. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour the sauce over the Goodness. noodles. It smells so good. Oh, Jeez, it, it well, it's so very good. rich. Yeah. It's very rich. And then you do heat it one more time. The last ingredients that go in it before I heat it again is the sour cream. And you wanna put this in last because okay. what happens is it will start to get real milky and curdly. Oh, so gotcha. So you just wanna put that last scoop right. in there. Yep. This is when you can bake it and put your, like your crumbs on yes. it, whatever you want. Yes. And then you're gonna put it back in the microwave, mm -hmm. maybe for another minute, stir it another minute. Okay. Or you could put it in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. Okay. So once it's all done, I put it in this little skillet and mm -hmm. I just throw it in under the broiler a couple of seconds. Gotcha. I use Asiago blend Parmesan cheese. Nice. I put it on top and then I just sprinkle some parsley. And voila, there is the famous poppy press mac and cheese. Tamara, now you're noted for your boards. They're called poppy press boards. Yeah. And the idea is just amazing and people just love it and it took right off and it's really funny how it came about right right it started because i had so much inventory i'm trying to keep the poppy alive and yep. it was just so hard so i started to put these boards together and deliver them and for funerals people would call to wow. have them delivered for birthdays what happened is i started to use a regular butcher block i'd find them you know on sale different places but I've been doing so well, I can't keep up with the boards. I have the product, but not the boards now. <laughs> right. So what we did was we started to make our own. All you have to do is put the butcher block paint treatment on it so it's food safe. And then they keep the board. Let's show some of the boards and talk about the boards that you have here. Like, what a feast. You know, there really is no limit to the board. Right. This is, I used a long piece of wood and I filled it with brie and all kinds of things. Hummus. Looks like you have some pita, pita chips there. Pita chips, olives, tuna salad, chicken salad, fruit. There's the smoked cheeses, muffins, croissants. The possibilities yeah. are endless. And, then, um, and this, this one looks one, like breakfast, This right? was breakfast, and it's actually on a tray. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, there's French toast, there's quiche, there's homemade little donuts on it, cheesecake. I make these little bananas, just split them in half. There's oatmeal, oh honey, and walnut, and that's yogurt and fruit. 
and oh, pretty wow. much there is no rule to it. You're also a coffee shop and cafe, so you can stop by and get lunch, right? All the time. I'm here from 7 in the morning till 2. So I have all the fresh coffee, I have specialty drinks, and then we have the breakfast menu. Mm -hmm. And I do gourmet grilled cheeses where you can build that, add what you want. Your that grilled cheeses are amazing. I mean, you can. It's like a custom grilled <laughs> cheese you can have made, right? <laughs> Whatever you want on it. And those toppings also people put on the mac and cheese. Beautiful. So it's very versatile. Everything just grooves together like just works. It really does. It's a great place to stop by and to either grab something here or take something with you. Why don't you give everyone the address of Poppy Press Coffee Company? We are at 9 East Broad Street, downtown Hazleton. Mm -hmm. We're on social media, Facebook and Instagram. And we also have the Poppy Express, which is our catering unit. And you can have it for special events, for weddings or catering, different things that are going on. Thank you so much. Uh, this Thank has been you. so much fun. Uh, we really appreciate you showing us how to make your famous mac and cheese and these beautiful boards. Thank you. It was a pleasure having you. Thanks. Thank you.